Blah. <laughs> Here's the Jerry Springer thought. Final thought. Ready? This is the Jerry Springer uh, final thought. I like what Spike says. So in the last episode that we did, that I did on this, the, the, fir the, first, the first and only episode that we did on this, we talked about, I talked about how I felt bad for some of the fans because like I said, I went down a rabbit hole. I read about how, I read about how I, I read about how this band inspired people to pick up the bass, to, to learn about, to, you know, get politically conscious, like all really good things, uh, get sober, turn vegetarian. These are all positive things. Listen, no matter what you think about being a vegetarian, being a vegetarian is good for the environment. I'm not a vegetarian, by the way, but I'm just saying being vegetarian better for the environment. It is, it is, it's good. It's not a bad thing to be a vegetarian at all. Turning people, helping people find, helping people to, exposing people to these things is a good thing. And that's what Anti-Flag did. They did. They did do that. This is not me trying to justify the band. It's just, I empathize with the fans that are fucking worship the band and are upset that, they're, that, they, that this has happened. That's what I'm, that's the place I'm coming from. A place of compassion and empathy for their fans. And this, this person, Spike, said this on Twitter. And I think this is a beautiful statement. And it just doesn't apply to anti-flag. It applies to, it applies to just about anything. Just about anybody who you, who is, who might've been a hero to you once. Someone that you, you, uh, you worshipped or idolized. And then they turned out to be um, a, a piece of shit just a piece of rancid dog shit. Okay. So this is what spike says. They wrote this on the 20th. To those of you who made positive changes in your life because of anti-flag, those who became sober, those who became less bigoted, those who kept living because of their words, the person who inspired you may be a monster, but your growth is still valid and important. And that to me as a guy who doesn't give a shit about anti-flag, their singer, their songs, their politics, but that to me is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. The idea that the person delivering the message, the messenger turned out to be a monster, turned out to be a piece of shit, but the message is pure. And if the message made you feel better about yourself, if the message helped you, the message helped you become sober. If it helped you to become less bigoted, if it helped you to keep living and it helped you to do something positive in your life, then that growth is still valid and important and you should still pursue it. You know? And I think that, I think that at the end of the day, I think that's the, 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 the one message to walk away from. If you're a fucking anti-flag fan and you found this out, you found out your favorite band was full of shit even if everybody else knew it. Spike continues, your progress is still there and your growth doesn't depend on him. That's Justin. It's okay to mourn. It's okay to feel betrayed. It's okay to cry out. But please keep in mind how your comments of disbelief look to other essay survivors. Remember, they are victims out there who haven't come forward yet. There are victims out there who haven't come forward yet. Your spike continues. You're still strong and brave for hearing something that inspired you and deciding to make changes in your life. That was you who did that, not the monster. You were the one who recognized something that you lacked and fought for better days. It was you all along. Be kind to yourself. Um, I think that is beautiful. And that extends far past anti-flag that is that's any anybody who who uh you loved and worshipped and they turn out to be a piece of shit you know um and you could say hey separate the art from the artist but i think this is something that goes even beyond that this is like the transformation and the growth and the person that you became as a result of being inspired by the this art from people who are imperfect and flawed um, 
doesn't it shouldn't be tarnished because it came from people who are pieces of shit. And I think that is a uh, a, new, a subtle nuance that gets lost in today's cancel culture wars, right? Everybody, the moment you're canceled, up oh, can't listen to that anymore. Well, you want to know something? I still listen to Michael Jackson in my house. I still watch Roman Polanski movies. You know why? Because I like the art. And, um, you know, does it mean that I want to give to the Roman Polanski, you know, young female adult fund? you know, that he set up to, you know, alleviate his conscience. He didn't. I'm just using this as an example. No, I don't want to friggin' help that, that monster, you know, wipe his conscience clean. Does that mean I, does it mean I can't like Rosemary's baby? I love Rosemary's baby. I love Rosemary's baby. It's a friggin' masterpiece. Um, I love thriller. I love beat it. I love watching Michael Jackson dance. Would I ever let Michael Jackson near my children? Hell fucking no. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's hard to have these conversations. You can't do that today. You can't have these conversations today with anybody because, you know, you know how it goes. Um, that's it. That's where we get off. That's the end. Uh, let me just read Alan's last comment here. Alan says, I was a huge anti-flag fan next to the Misfits and the Ramones. They were one of the bands I listened to the most, and I considered Justin one of my vocal inspirations, but fuck that guy. Alan, I'm sorry for your loss. I'm sorry for your loss. Um, Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. Or Gary Glitter. <laughs> oh, boy. Um. Thank you guys. Like, I don't, I really don't think go read that girl, the French girl, read her account, go listen to the episode, other episode where we talked about the other accounts that we read and read it, go on Reddit. You can read all this stuff for yourself. Come to your own conclusions. Okay. Um, come to your own conclusions from what you read online. Um, and remember, remember the positive changes in your life because of anti-flag are still valid. Your growth is still valid, even if they are pieces of shit. That is my, that is my Jerry Springer final word of the evening. My name is Jeff Rummis, and this has been my podcast or my YouTube show, wherever this is. We'll see you next time. Peace, hair grease, you know all the rest. Ah, whoa. You know what I just realized? How do I end this? Holy shit.